So here's how you create a test from a zip file that has been incorporated into Canvas. The first thing to do is to go to quizzes. From quizzes, you go to manage question banks. And then you're going to create a new question bank. So you're going to choose add question bank. And let's say that you have four chapters that you're going to include. So it is your first exam. I'm going to call it exam number one. And I'm going to say um, one through maybe chapter one through four uh, question pool. Okay. And now it's empty. We're going to leave it right there. Actually, I forgot to put the number one. So I'm going to change that. Okay, so now it's exam number one, chapters one through four, question pool. And I am going to come to the, these are the question pools that I have, chapter one, two, three, and four. And one of the things that you need to think of is uh, how many questions your exam is going to be. Let's say that your exam is uh, 40 questions or 50 questions or 100 questions. Think of extra questions that you can use so that um, you can set it to have random selection and then you can click or, or you can choose how many from each um, uh, how many questions you want to include so I'm gonna go to chapter number one these are the questions it has 118 questions that come from the publisher the only thing you want to make sure is that these questions are multiple choice. Now, usually multiple choice are the first one and then uh, followed by true, false and so on. So one way to know is you have to click on edit on that uh, question and see how it says multiple choice. So right here, there's the different choices. There are like four different choices that uh, you can choose from or come from the publisher. So. Let's say I like this question. Okay, so I'm gonna select this question. I'm gonna cancel that, that out. I'm gonna read my question first, and I am going to make sure that it is a question that I want. I am going to add that so to the question bank that I created. So I already have that question. Let's say that this also is a good question. So I'm gonna click on move copy question to another question bank, and then I'm gonna choose this one Make sure that the check mark on there, keep a copy of this question bank as well, is selected. Click on that. And then let's say that I want this one too. It's going to take a little bit of time for you to be able to create that. And then let's say I want this one too. Again, I'm just selecting some for the purposes of this. Unfortunately, this is very time consuming. You cannot select multiple questions that I know of. And so click just copy there copy just gonna select the questions that I want so if you have four chapters and your exam is 40 questions you probably want 10 questions from each chapter okay or but you you want to have some more just so that you have enough to be able to choose from okay so now that I have that Let's say that I have selected all the questions that I wanted. I'm going to go back to questions bank, question banks. And see right here, I got 10, or I'm sorry, 11 questions right here. So click. I'm going to click on 11. I only wanted 10. I'm going to remove this one. Let's say that I don't want that one. I'm going to remove that. And now I'm going to be here, and I got 10 questions. All right, now I'm going to go to chapter 2. So in chapter 2, I want to select this one. I'm going to select exam number one, chapter one to work, question pool, check mark again, copy. And same thing here. Say I want this question as well. Say I want this question. This question. And boom. Let's say I already have the 10 questions that I selected for the purposes of this. I'm going to go back to question banks again and select chapter three now. 
and I am going to let's say I'm going to select this question so I'm going to select exam number one hit that check mark under make a copy only all right all right now let's say that I already have all of my questions that I wanted and then the last chapter will be chapter 4 so I go to the question bank to the test bank chapter 4 let's say I want this question so I'm gonna click on that select exam number one copy this one too this one too and that one too perfect all right I have all my let's say that I got 40 questions I probably don't have 40 questions I have 23 questions but let's say that I have 40 questions now okay let's say that I want to now create an exam but also before I move on I can come here to this and I can edit the questions and I can change how the question will read from here like the blank owns an equity stake in let's say FanDuel let's say that it was Enron so I'll type Enron okay the company doesn't exist anymore of course but all right so this is how you can change and edit your question banks if you want to customize some of the questions now that you got that um, you come back to questions bank you go to quizzes and you create your quiz from here so you're gonna go to quiz you choose classic submit now we got 23 questions I think right so let's say that this is exam number one chapters one through four your exam let's say that the exam was 20 questions so I'm gonna go to questions here new question group and I'm gonna call it exam number one question group and I want to say I want 20 questions at say five points each okay you're probably not gonna do that and then click on link to question bank and then you're gonna choose that question pool that you created chapter one and then select and then click on create group let's say that you created your own question bank and those questions are only a specific questions that you wanted from a specific chapter or from if you have industry experience you can do that so I'm gonna click on new question group I'm gonna say industry uh, related questions let's say that I have a question and I want I have let's say that I got a bunch of questions and I want five questions from there I'm gonna click on link and let's say that that is this one right here chapter one quiz bank for example let's say that those are the, the ones that I wanted click select and I also want five questions at five points each and then create question group now you see it's using two um, question groups or two test banks and once you do that you are done you basically just set the days and times here and then make it available you know let's say it's available today and it will close Monday Monday and save and polish oops I made a mistake here and you're done now you can see here you got um, all of these questions right here so you got 25 questions 20 are coming from the big question bank chapter 1 uh, question bank and 5 are coming from a specific question bank that I had created with a specific industry related questions or they could be case studies if you will but your exam is ready and it will randomize when you set it up as a quiz I hope this helped you